Hi guys and welcome back. We're live at the Olympia Baby Show here at the Press Lounge and I have the wonderful Mr. Paul Walker who is our head Hello. of product at Eye Candy. Um, I've kind of press ganged Paul into joining us on, on the stand today to kind of basically the biggest news that we've had this year that uh, you know everyone must have seen in the press and the news that is our Eye Candy for Land Rover collaboration. Mm -hmm. and. It's been an incredible effort from everyone in the team, and it's been going on for like, for an extensive period of time. But I don't think you know from it being you know the physical product that we see here today in Olympia. You know, it's his first kind of London debut show. Uh, you know, people know kind of how it, the products come about. So you know, I wonder if you could shed a little bit more light on that for us. Well, sure. As you say, it's been a, a great team effort, and it's not just the Eye Candy team. We have worked in complete collaboration with the Land Rover Design team as well, mm. which has been uh, a fantastic opportunity for both uh, teams, really, to see how they approach things and how we approach things, and bringing those great minds together to create something that's truly special. Uh, yeah, and I think that's you really see that actually within the pushchair itself, but it does go beyond just those two logos. Like just two logos on the arm of a pushchair. I think sure. the you know would you could you explain like the whole sort of design process? Like how long has this been in, in works well, for? It's been we've been through a design process and uh, it, it's a design process that has just been done as a collaboration. But it's the same process where you consider at a very early stage the opportunities to explore what can be achieved. And for us, there are no boundaries, and we approached it in that way that everything on the product needed to be considered now to put it into context there are 300 components roughly oh my God. on on a push chair on an eye candy push chair even so, i didn't realize that yeah. <laughs> That's huge. so every single part is considered and um, we went through the classical brainstorming techniques uh, worked together throwing different concepts in even before that looking at the mood boards to see where the inspiration could come from but we were very clear from the start that it had to be something that as you say it's not just about two brands Mm. on the logo arm it's about doing something truly special that represents uh, a Land Rover and has synergy with a Land Rover but also is in line with our DNA which is all about design quality and innovation so marrying all that together I think uh, over a course of as you say two years it's a long period of time but um, as you can see it's there's a lot that has been developed in that time to make it something truly special and the components that go with it as well. Yeah. So we, it's got the, the new cargo bag, which yeah. is something very new and innovative, um, but uh, the, down to the fabrics, the fabrics are completely new. Yeah. Uh, they haven't been taken from another product in our range, they've been com completely developed for the eye candy for Land Rover. Mm. No, that's incredible. And I think when you kind of put it into context like that, like to me, something that would take two years, that's, you know, it sounds and is an exhaustive period of time, but it sounds like you guys had quite a job list, you know, 300 components yep. that you kind of collectively broke down to then reassemble. Well, it's collectively breaking it down, but it's, it's making sure that you have a vision and you have an agreed vision and agreed concept. And the challenging part is making sure that every single one of those components meets that vision. And that is all about attention to detail. And it's that obsession on both brands' part to make sure that nothing is lost. And for me, uh, the judge of a product, the end product, is how it sits next to the original concept. And if I stuck the product, or put the product next to the final agreed concept visual, yeah. it has stayed completely true to what we're trying to achieve. And that is all because of the endeavor to make sure the fabrics are correct, even down to the color. It's a huge obsession about the color. The orange has to be just right, and the greys, etc. And you're trying to color, color coordinate over all those different materials. Yeah. You've got fabrics, aluminiums, you've got different components, you've got springs, you've got handlebars, bringing it all together and tying it all together to meet the, the agreed uh, uh, target point, if you like, the, or the aim of the end uh, point. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal effort on both teams' parts. But also, well, it has been a true team. Yeah, no, effort. absolutely, and it's yeah, it's been a pleasure actually to kind of work alongside yourself and the Land Rover team to see this kind of come into fruition. And obviously, my PR job is just to take the the spoils of that and run with that and kind of bring <laughs> it to the public domain. But you know, it's been so fascinating for me to understand the whole journey. But it, I don't think it even stopped there. Like obviously, we then do extensive testing 
yeah. and really, you know, to make sure the product that we're saying is all terrain and sure. can absolutely tackle everything. So, like, what is that kind of testing here? Like, what, what uh, is the we, testing we, process? We do extensive uh, user trials. Right. So every product we develop, um, we don't we don't just uh, develop it in the four walls. At every stage, from prototype stage all the way through to um, what I'd call production part stage before we launch it to the market we do huge user trials so these are independently sourced user trialists they're not friends they're not yeah, you know, no, sure. <laughs> mates yeah. who are going to tell us what we want yeah. to hear these, these are user trials that take part not just in the UK they take part in different territories different yeah. temperatures different environments because we know pushchair is going to be used in all kinds of Oh, environments and uh, absolutely so it was used in the snow it was used in the dirt it was used on beaches um, yeah. it's been used on every terrain you can imagine um, and that is done for months before months and months with multi uh, tens of people yeah. uh, probably over 20 people use trial uh, before it's brought to market um, so we know it's the right it meets all uh, the purposes it's been designed for no absolutely and I'm sure like testing a push chair within a controlled environment almost in a lab condition yeah. can push it so far but you can't really the, the better the testers real, are going to be the parents the real test of a push chair yes we yes we do all the lab testing as well yeah. uh, we do that throughout the journey as well not just at the end um, mm. so we do a lot of independent testing throughout the development journey but the true test of any product whether it be a push chair or a car is really the end user but those are the people who are using it as it's really intended to be used. And I think that's the thing, to really understand how, like, to really push its limits. You know, you pop a baby in that, and then yeah. the whole dynamic of exactly. it changes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, fantastic. Well, we're now going to cut to an amazing video that was curated by both teams, mm -hmm. and that really kind of sheds light a little bit more on what you've just touched on there. Thank you so much, Paul. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Jaguar Land Rover approached us at an exhibition and asked us whether we would consider working with them. They saw great synergies between our two brands, both from the, from the British and quality perspectives. First time I saw the product finished when it came uh, into our UK office, I was very proud that two years worth of work to bring the stroller to look exactly like the car was there. I was very proud of them and very proud of iCandy. We're incredibly excited about the opportunities that are out there for both brands, appealing to young families around the world and projecting the British tailor-made design, quality and innovation. The collaboration with iCandy and the, the designers at iCandy has been fantastic. We started the process working with the iCandy designers by sitting and looking at options and concepts that we could work on together. Both sides came up with ideas of how it could work and then we looked at the best routes forward and combining the best of both teams. So there's not a single fabric on the Eye Candy for Land Rover that is used in Eye Candy main range. So it's specifically selected fabrics. It's a specifically selected, or we call cut and sew, that's the profiling of the fabrics, which is inspired by a Land Rover. It's got the elements and look within the seat of the Land Rover and the, the functionality of Eye Candy. We wanted to develop something that was more in line with the off-road, go-anywhere approach of Land Rover. We've been able to take those key features of the car, not just the aesthetic, but the, the whole drive experience of when you're sat in that car through to pushchair design. The little touches of detail and functionality has just brought a next level of premium luxury.